Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday the 23rd of July 2015. And starting off in the five minute chart, you can see how quiet the market was in the pre-market session. And again, just trading in a narrow range of around 30 points. And then we see the market kick off at uh, 2.30 with a triple X. And generally I would leave these alone as uh, the market can be quite volatile at the beginning of a session. However, yesterday you can see the prices uh, we just moved in the one direction. We've got some uh, selling pressure here as the market uh, starts to move up. You can see huge volume uh, in this up thrust, but then the buying comes in and moves the market up to the 17,900. And then eventually we actually close above it where we get the PTI. One of the questions that I've been asked is uh, how can we actually reduce the losses in uh, such a situation as this where the market's gone through and then failed to continue. Well, let's just mark up the trade. We can see there we have a risk of uh, 36 points. But notice the price action around this level. You can see the market's closing back here. It closes back for a second bar and then attempts to move back. The volume has dropped off so we can see that there's no interest in the upside because as I've said on many occasions if we're going to drive through a sort of resistance area like this we want to see a green bar like we saw just after the open here driving through all the way to the scalp target there. So one way of reducing the losses in this situation is by looking at the price action and again you can see the markets come back below the major psychological line and then what you can do is uh, use a 50% below the bars that close back below the psychological level. So the market closes through here, it closes here, and then the market starts to turn around and then we see the market come back here. So again, just using that where it starts to go back through, fails to go back through and then closes back below, use that to actually move the stop and uh, reduce the losses. So there you can see uh, 874 to 893, so a 19 point saving on this uh, trade. Because the market's not going up, it's telling you this purely by the drop off in volume and the fact that prices keep closing back below the psychological level, a major one, and uh, also where uh, there's no green professional buying bars to move the market higher. So that's uh, what happened, and the market came down. No selling. Uh, we then see the market testing down at this level, and then we get into a sideways range for the remainder of the trading session. So you can see there we've only got a 29 point range for most of the uh, remainder of the session and then a bit of activity towards the end. But as I have uh, warned all this week, we are heading into the vacation period where the markets uh, generally do become a lot quieter and that's what we're seeing here. So you have to read the activity a bit more of what's actually going on during this time. In the daily chart you can see uh, a very interesting picture actually, what looked like uh, not a lot happening in the intraday chart. In the daily chart you can see that the volume is greater than the previous day and the range is narrower and here we see indicated on the chart some buying pressure coming into the market so you've got the narrow range, an increase in volume and now you're seeing what you would expect to see after this type of price action, price is starting to move back to the upside. So in order to move higher, we're looking for prices to actually close above the high of the buying pressure bar at 17,914 in order to move higher there. And uh, today, let's see if there's anything to move the market. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, there's bits of news from the UK. They've got uh, retail sales. Their forecast to be slightly higher. And 315, uh, Bob is going to speak uh, but other than that, there's no other economic news items. So again, the first hour, hour and a half, is uh, all you can expect of activity in the Dow before prices uh, become quiet once more. And uh, finally, in the implied volatility, 10.77 for Tuesday. Wednesday, we see it at 10.72, which is slightly odd. We're not getting much movement in the implied volatility at the moment either. But then we uh, look at the underlying market. And of course, uh, we don't see much activity there either as well. The market uh, currently uh, sideways for yesterday, day before, 200 point down. But uh, the market didn't really take any notice of that either as far as marking uh, 
the volatility side for the options was concerned as we saw the same 1077 for Monday and uh, Friday last as well. Right, that's it uh, from me, uh, apart from to say that the second round of the Greek uh, bailout uh, went through last night as well uh, with the majority. So again, that's uh, probably why the Dow is up on the overnight market as well uh, during uh, this morning. Right, I'll see you in tomorrow's uh, market alert. As ever, thanks for watching, also for your support, and I shall see you in the next one.